Hi, my name is Marcelo, and in this video we will learn how we can schedule Wipad automations without using Wipad Orchestrator. So, I created here a simple example that opens the notepad and writes hello world on it. So, uh, what's the first uh, step that we need to do to make possible uh, schedule this automation without using Wipad Orchestrator? The first step is publish our automation. So, let's click here on publish. Let's go here to publish options and let's select the option custom. So basically, the output of the publish will be a package that is basically our automation. And we need this package to make possible uh, schedule our automation without using the Wipath orchestrator. So now, here we need to say uh, the path where we want to store the generated package. So I will paste here uh, the path to this project that uh, I created. So now let's click on publish. And so was published the project with success. Basically was generated a package related to this project. So now if we go to the project, we can see here that was uh, created so uh, the package related to this project. And now the second step is to create a simple script file that will execute our automation. So let's open the notepad. And now in first, we have to indicate here the full path of the Y robot. So basically the Y robot is the agent that executes the automation. So to know the full path of the Y robot, let's go here to Windows Explorer and type Y path. And now let's click here and let's click on open file location. Now with Y path Studio selected, let's click here on shortcut tools and let's click on open location. And now here will appear a folder that starts with the name app. So may have uh, different numbers, but starts with this name. So let's open this folder. And now here, let's search for Y robot. And now here we can see the Y robot executable. So let's click on it. And now let's click here on Gnome and copy path to get the full path. And now let's paste here, Control D. And now that we indicated here the full path of the Y robot, we need to do here a space, minus file, space, and now we have to indicate the full path of the package of the automation that we want to execute. So let's go here to our project. Let's open the file explorer. Let's copy the full path. So let's click on the package, copy path. And now uh, let's paste it here on our notepad. And now let's save this as a VAT file. So let's go to file, save as. Now here on file name, let's say for example, notepad task. And here on save as type, let's select the option all files. And here let's delete the .txt and let's type here .bat. So by this way, will be like a script file. So let's save. So we can see here the file that we created. So if we do double click on it, it should execute our automation. So let's close the Wipad Studio. We don't need it open. And let's do double click. And so as you can see, uh, the batch file, the file that we created, executed our automation as you can see. So now we just need to schedule it. And now let's go to the third step that it schedule our automation without using Wipad Orchestrator. So Let's go here to Windows Explorer and search for task and will appear uh, this app task scheduler. So click on it to open. And so basically task scheduler allows us to schedule the launch of programs or scripts at certain times. So to schedule here the execution of our automation, let's go here to create basic task. And now let's define here a name to our task. So let's say YPath underscore notepad. And let's click on next. And here we can define when we want the task to start. If we want daily, weekly, monthly, one time or other options. So let's select one time to just test. So let's click here one time and next. So here we need to define the date that we want the task to be executed. So leave the date of today. And here on our, let's here define the hours. So to just don't wait much for the task to be executed. Let's say here a 46 and let's click on next. And now here the action, let's choose the option start a program, next. And now we need to say the full path of this program, our script. So 
Let's click on Browse. And now let's select the file that we created, the batch file. And now let's click on Next. And now let's click on Finish. So the task is already created, so we just need to wait uh, two minutes, one minute, and it should execute uh, automatically uh, our automation. So let's just wait a bit. And so as you can see, uh, will be executed right now our automation. So uh, as you can see here, the automation was executed with success. So if you have some question, leave here on the comments and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RPA related videos. Bye bye.